Welcome to my kitchen. So after watch the video, I'm gonna show you how to make vegetarian ramen noodles, okay? So first of all, you're gonna need a very good base stock, which is the dashi. But because today we're doing the vegetarian ramen noodles, so we need the base stock must be vegetarian as well. So it's, today I'm gonna make the um, uh, kombu dashi, okay? First of all, we will need two liters of water. Turn the heat on and be careful, right? With the kombu, you only boil the water to 60 degrees Celsius, okay? So here I have the thermometer, okay? Here. We want the temperature to stay 60. If you have the sous vide machine, you can use that one as well. And we're gonna dip the um, kombu. Kombu is this one. In English, it's called kelp. This one is the Jap Japanese kelp. They call it kombu. There's the Korean one as well. You can use that one. But the Japanese one, it tastes so much better. You need 50 grams of kombu, okay? For two liters of water. And the kombu will stay in here for at least one hour. So in one hour, the kombu the, the outside the coating of kombu will extract and, and, and combine with the water and it will create the umami flavor. If the water is 60 degrees and this one stay in the right temperature in the right time, the, the layer, the outside layer of the kombu will extract. Okay? If the temperature too high, it doesn't work. So a lot of people make mistake about the kombu, a lot, a lot. They boil the water, the water too high, and they boil not enough time. There's a lot of reason that they don't make the, the dashi is good. Because they don't know. It's getting like uh, 57, see? It will get to 60 soon. It's getting close to 60. That's enough. We will put everything in here, okay? And then we will close the lid. And that's it. Leave it for one hour. And watch the temperature. The temperature must be around 60. If it's getting low, then we turn the heat on to reach 60 again, okay? So while waiting for the dashi, we will make the uh, kill egg, the ramen egg, okay? So first of all, hit on, and we will boil the egg for six minutes. Okay, soft boil egg will will take about six minutes. Begin when the water boil. Okay, a lot of people they they put the egg in when the water cold, but it's not. That's that's how you you make the hard boil eggs. But with the soft boiled egg, you start with the water boil and we cook about six minutes, okay? And also depends on the size of the eggs. If it's more like this, say about five or two, five and a half minutes. I reckon five minutes should be good because it's too small. So when the water boil, you start putting the egg, okay? Put like me so the, the egg won't break. Okay, that's Done, done, and start five minutes. While waiting for the egg to cook, we prepare one, one bucket of ice water. So after five minutes, we, we, we get the egg out and put in this to stop the cooking process. Now we turn off the heat and immediately get the egg out and put in the cold water to stop the cooking process and leave it there for a couple minutes. So now we're gonna prepare the, uh, the cure uh, ramen egg ingredient, okay? Okay, so prepare one uh, small plastic container like this, okay? And we need 100 ml of uh, Kikoman soy sauce, 200 ml of mirin, 25 gram of the uh, white miso and put in here and dissolve everything 
after everything dissolve you put about 30 gram 30 gram of ginger okay now we're gonna peel the ginger first then thin slice it okay and put it in here five gram five gram of uh, spring spring onion or green onions put in here as well now we're gonna peel the eggs put in here so basically we you will uh, you will kill the egg inside like this okay but you need a little bit more of the sauce as well so the sauce will cover the egg so I prepare one of these with the smaller so make sure that the egg will will stay inside the sauce like this because my container too big and the sauce is, is, is still have in here see so you have more put in here use this one okay a cloth to cover on the top cover everything so why you do like this because the sauce will get into the cloth and the cloth will get the sauce around the egg too okay and then cover with lid and this one this one gonna stay in the fridge for at least 12 hours okay this one stay in the fridge 12 hours so now we're gonna prepare these things okay 80 gram of uh, sitake mushroom 30 gram of the garlic 100 gram of ginger and uh, 100 gram of the, the head of the green onion okay we're gonna check our stock you can see the, the stock from here it will change color to a little bit of uh, yellowish like this okay and we're gonna get all the combo out now we're gonna put in here a hundred and and 20 of soy sauce shiitake mushroom green onions okay we're gonna slide the ginger okay and put in the pot and then we're gonna turn on the heat and simmer for at least half an hour okay so so here we have the ramen noodles ramen noodles is that they, they are a little bit yellow like this so it doesn't mean they contain eggs in here is a alkaline solution the alkaline solution is like we uh, we bake the baking soda and after we roast the baking soda for at least one hour we mix with the wheat flour and water and it's become like this okay it's the alkaline solution become like this i already have one video show you how to make the ramen noodle from scratch uh, over here so click on that one and see how i do it uh, after i make the noodles i have cooked the noodles and put in the freezer and it's become something like this okay and it's ready to go in here we will have 50 ml of mirin as well we will prepare 50 gram of miso also 5 grams of baking soda when the heat is high turn it down to simmer if you have something like this the Korean uh, mushroom I like this one because it gives the texture beautiful texture so uh, I will use this I will put like 80 gram of this one as well I love this one because of the texture just like uh, chicken I love this so 80 gram okay. so after half an hour we will got the broth look something like this Okay. the broth is a little bit thick then now we're gonna seasoning with uh, 
miso. So if you watch me make pho last time, so this time I'm gonna season this one exactly like what happened with the pho as well. See? We put it in a bowl with miso paste, like this. Okay. Then we use the spoon and this make, make, make sure the miso paste dissolve. Everything dissolve. Okay, make sure that the miso is dissolved in the stock. After you happy with the with the broth, turn off the heat, okay? Season and make sure miso dissolve in here. After the miso dissolve in the broth, strain it with a very fine one, okay? So why 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 you have to strain the miso? Because they this little thing, it doesn't go well in your throat. So we must strain it. Huh? We stir the broth again. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, and we try the the broth. Tastes also good. <laughs> the protein I will have the egg tofu. Okay, the egg tofu. We're gonna deep fry the egg tofu and cut this one in bite size. Here we're gonna use potato starch. Put our potato starch. Now we're gonna put in the the tofu, the egg tofu in the potato starch. Then make sure everything is covered. Okay, to deep fry this one, 180 degree. Put down the tofu and deep fry for one minute. So after one minute, take it out, look at it, look how beautiful this is, crunchy and nice color. So now we're going to bring this pot to boil, the pre-cooked pre um, ramen noodles put in here and get the uh, ceramic bowl. To cook this one, put this one in and cook it like uh, say 30 seconds and then get it out. Remember last time I showed you how to make fur? Do it the same thing. Get the hot water around like this and pour it out. Make sure your ramen is dry, okay? You do like this so your ramen is dry, okay? And put it in. Now you put your toppings, okay? Here, have this, have those things. Have mushroom, put mushroom in. With the kill eggs, careful, don't, don't, don't cut it with the knife, but use the string, okay? Use a string, because I only kill it for like uh, one hour, so it doesn't have the color that I want. There you go. Okay. You put some broth in. Just enough to cover the noodles. Then some spring onion. Sprinkle on the top. Dry seaweed. And now done. Okay. First of all, it's, it's look tasty, right? It's look really tasty. See, now I'm gonna try the stock, the broth first. Mm. The flavor, the umami taste from the uh, kombu, it's, it's, it's stay right there. Now I'm trying the noodles. Mm. Can't believe it. It's a vegetarian meal. It so, also tastes really good. Now I'm trying to try the egg. Because I only have like uh, an hour to cure the egg. So at home, you, you can do like 12 hours, okay? But it already tastes good. It's just really nice with the broth, guys. When you eat ramen, you must have 
the sound like that. Very rich and umami. So normally the vegetarian meal doesn't taste nice. It tastes like um, less flavor, but this one it tastes as good as the pork one. It's so good. I can't stop eating. I can't stop eating, guys. Hmm. See, I finish this in one minute. Tastes so good, so good. Wow. Okay, that's it, guys. It's the um, how to make the vegetarian ramen properly. Okay. Um, maybe Gordon Ramsay already fucked up his vegetarian ramen, but oh well. I I still respect him in in in, in a lot of way. He's a successful businessman. Uh, he has many, many uh, successful TV shows as well. I really respect him, but this time, I'm not agree with him with his um, vegetarian ramen. And this is how I make vegetarian meal. I hope you guys learned something from my video. And please like if you success with this recipe, okay? And subscribe for me for next video as well. And now, see you next time.